Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty from the Master Collection version on PC. So this is on Steam Deck, but again released on PC. Now it got verified like Metal Gear Solid 3. So everything should be working as expected without crashes. There's one thing though that I need to point out, but first let's get into the game. There's no graphic settings. You can play it on windowed, but in this case, I mean, it's a Steam Deck. <laughs> it's not like we're going to play on windowed. First thing is forced 16 by 9. So you got black bars on the top and bottom of the screen. And also the audio quality is not good. You have to use a mod for that, which is linked in the description. It's just copying and pasting in the games menu, the games menu, in the games folder. And you have better audio. So there's a link in the description if you want to download that mod. I think it's essential for good audio. I think the audio now doesn't have any... What's the name of this? Any improvements, unfortunately. But man, that rain still looks amazing. I don't know how they did it. Freaking magicians. Alright. Let's loot this guy. Bandages. Okay, this should be open now. So as I was saying, Metal Gear Solid 2, I think is one of the best ones. I like Metal Gear Solid 3 best, personally, but I also finished this one. And it's such a legendary game when it comes to, at least in my opinion, the effects of the rain. But again, I wish it could be 16 by 10. Ooh, he kicked me in the face. I'm not used to this camera angle. Praise. Yeah, not sure if this was supposed to be... I forgot it was fixed camera, actually. But again, it's a very easy to run game. When you get later to the tanker as Raiden... Yeah, spoiler alert. It's going to run worse, but again, we have so much room to spare, it's ridiculously easy. But I'm blown away by the rain effects each time I replay this level. Oof. Man, I'm playing on easy and these guys hit me before I, I do. I don't even remember how to grab them. Where's my CQC at? Maybe I played too much Metal Gear Solid 3, actually. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. I got this. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I have a limited health, I think. Nah, I'm kidding. These people keep waking up. Get him to sleep. Let's use a bandage. Man, I really didn't remember the fixed camera angles. Okay, they're all knocked out. I got them. Let's put them to sleep properly. There we go. Everybody's sleeping. Close. Oh, you didn't see me. Okay. Also, nice detail, probably everybody knows. If you hit this, and you stay here, the ice will start to melt. Slowly but surely. Nice detail for a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> so yeah, if you wanted to play it, I would just say... Consider downloading the mod for the better audio. There's also some texture mods going on and it's just as easy as dragging and dropping inside of the games folder. So yeah, let's jump into handheld because Snake is bleeding. Alright guys, welcome back. Now in handheld, 
looks great in the smaller screen. And uh, what to say? Can I move this? No. Uh, the game has black bars on the top and bottom of the screen, forced 16 by 9, unfortunately. So yeah, that's where we're at. Again, there's texture mods if you want better looking textures. But I think the main the main problem with this one is the audio. The audio quality is very poor in comparison to the original. And if you cannot open it, just kick it open, I guess. But such an advanced game for its time. Kinda blows my mind. Oh, yeah, Russian. Thank you so much. So yeah, it runs fantastically well, no verified, so shouldn't crash, like it did before, even Metal Gear Solid 3. So both are verified. Metal Gear Solid 1 was not verified, as of yet, it's marked as playable. So that one needs a little bit more time in the oven, I guess. But again, the rain looks so incredible in this game, considering its age. It's very convincing. There we go. And again, you get like two hours of battery, like in Metal Gear Solid 3. But if you want to play it at 30, well, you'll get more battery life. So yeah, highly recommend it if you haven't played it before. There's even fake reflections. It blows my mind, really. What they do, what they did back then I don't know how to, how that's possible, really. Way ahead of its time. Okay, missing anything? I don't think so. Let's go in. Before they find the other enemy. Doints. I even forgot what I was doing in the game. I don't know why it's so bright in here now. Oh, okay, it's adjusting. It's probably snake side side. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it was a bug. Okay. Let's continue. I'm guessing we have to go to the highest point in the ship. Whoops, wrong button. Leave him alone, snake. Come on. I think he was listening to music, if I remember correctly. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Actually, I think I need to go to the highest point. Locked. There we go. But if you haven't played any of the Metal Gear games, if you cannot stand PlayStation 1 games with the original, Metal Gear 1, this one I think is a good starting point. It'll get you used to the controls in Metal Gear Solid 3, actually. Well, it's very Kojima. Even the shadows, there's there's shadows from the <laughs> from the lights. Man, those details! What the hell? This game has no business having those shadows. So anyway, I think I showed you enough. It works fine, even the cutscenes. And it's at 6 FPS basically all the time. Should be like 2 hours of battery. And it looks great on the smaller screen. I'm pretty impressed.
You can probably even push it to 1080p if your monitor supports it. I think you need a mod for that as well. I think it's kept at 720, which is ridiculous. But otherwise, looks pretty good. It's now verified, so there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.